All right, and it is a good morning. If you can hear me, you can see me. Let me see your comment right in the comment section. It's a beautiful Monday morning as far as I am concerned. It's one of the best Monday mornings ever. Never seen before, <laughs> never heard before. I thank you so much for joining me. All right, we have in the studio the amazing Philomena Ogoke, the proprietor <laughs> of Life Foundation School. You know, in the inner circle, we have proprietor of schools. We have a number of them. As in, many times, I, I, I'm always very excited because I always see that if we have a number of these proprietors, a lot of our school systems will change. Most of what it is that we're asking for will take a ton. And that will be one of the best things, all right, that could have happened to us. All right, so thank you so much for joining us this morning. All right, invite your friends, invite your family, tell them that we are live. That Mrs. Philomena Ogoke, is going to be sharing with us about our journey in the inner circle and this journey is going to wow you trust me i have <laughs> i have funny enough i've never met uh madame philomeno goke but she has taken the grace to go and visit my parents <laughs> all right the others are amazing amazing people amazing people all, all over all right if you can hear me you can see me please let me see your comments right in the comment section let me see your comment in the comment section and it will also interest you to know that my goddaughter is in her school as well in fact wow. after the, <laughs> had, had, had the 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 the, uh, the father you know spoke to me the father was my my best friend in, in secondary school and then said to me oh and i said you know what just take that to my daughter <laughs> Let me show where she is. I don't want to. I don't want to worry. Don't tell me she's in one like that, like that. I say just take her there. Let her just be there. So, um, Life Foundation School is one of those schools that uh, I would recommend anytime, any day. Right in the city of Owerri. So, all the people that are asking me, oh, I'm in Owerri. Oh, I need the school and all of that. Here you have it. Here you have it. Because the others. Are amazing people. Alrighty, so you have um, Mrs. Philomena Ogoke, and she's going to be sharing with us her journey. She's been in the inner circle for the past two years, and I am having to, you know, I, I haven't met her real life, but we've met several in the spirit. I meet her that in the spirit <laughs> anytime, anytime, and that for me, that's a that's a good meeting. All right. So when we now eventually meet physically, ah, it's as if we've known ourselves. <laughs> okay thank you so much if you're joining us this morning you're joining my intentional parenting journey and we are sharing with you the others who have shared all of the things that have happened to them their transformational journey which does not come without you know um, stress and without struggles, <laughs> yeah. all our struggles but the good thing is that we all know what to do Thank you so much for joining me. So over to you, Ma. Can you tell us, how did you get to meet the Intentional Parent Academy? How did you get yourself in the inner circle? And Mrs. Vilani Naogoke also had oh, adult children. So this is going to be one of those amazing sessions. Over to you. <laughs> Good morning, Coach Wendy. I'm so Amen. happy to be here this morning. Good morning, Yadas, wonderful parents all over the world. I am not taking it for granted. I thank you for the opportunity. And also, I want to uh, welcome the intending yadas, those who are planning, just still thinking, should I join, should I not join? If you are not here, you are nowhere. <laughs> you are nowhere yet. So thank you so much, Coach. Um, like she said, my name is Philomena Ogoke, and uh, I'm a parent, and I've been in the, in the inner circle. This is my third year, Coach. This is yes, my third year. True. Yeah, because I have to... <laughs> I had to do um, level two again when the yes. parenting launch plan came out. When that book came yes. out, I said, yes. "Hi, look, just stay here, just stay here, so you can you can really really assimilate." How did I get to know about TIP mm. during the uh, lockdown in 2020? You know, we were all at home, and then one of the mornings after we finished praying, um, we my husband addressed all of us that 
we just have to make good use of the opportunity um, of staying at home. In as much as we didn't like staying at home like that, but we saw that this one is not going to end uh, so quickly. So we, we deliberated and we all said, okay, we'll be taking some courses online. We we'll look at Udemy. We we'll look at any course we can you know, we can do according to our different age grades, you know. So um, I went to Facebook and I began to search. In fact, initially I took one course on goal setting um, um, with Udemy. I took some different courses. So one of the days, I think it was in July, that 2020, I just stumbled on TIP conference. I can't really see how I stumbled on that conference. I just, I just saw it. I said, ah parenting conference online and when i saw the uh the people that were involved i knew some of them i knew um um Mrs. i knew um Taiwa Akilami, at least i've heard about you know i now saw when do you look i said i've not i've not heard about this day before that was how i had to you know uh, make sure i attended a class by um, um pastor mrs favor oshiri and i also listened to her I saw her, she was, you know, she she talked like a pastor, the pastor misses. She was just giving us the word, talking about the Holy Spirit and all that. I said, Kai, this is my kind of person. I like this woman. And when Coach Wendy now came up again, I said, Chine, can I know? see this young woman? I, oh my goodness. Coach Wendy, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. What mm. the Lord have in store for you. You have not seen anything yet. Because... TIP is a, an end time move. Take mm. it from me. It's mm. an end time move. End time. You know, this mm. is the end time. Where the Bible says there will be perilous times. And mm. then people will be doing all manner of things. Children will be disobedient. Mm. You know, they will, mm. if, if evil mm. will just be everywhere. Mm. But mm. God, they always make a plan for, for, for his mm. own children. Mm. And that is why he mm. raised when you look at it's not a physical thing. I connected in the spirit with her. Ah, I said, Chineke, where have I been? So after the meeting, then you advertise your books. And I said, okay, let me get this connect to correct. How do we now get it? I paid for it online. And then I began to uh, ask, how do I go about it? And you told me that there's a lady in Owere. I think she lives at, I can't really remember her name again. With a Zubi or something. Lives at a housing. I paid for that book in July, in August, sorry. And I got it first day of September. I had to go to her house. That time, the lockdown was easy now, you know, easy enough a little. So I went to her house to collect the book. As I got home, I sat down with Connect to Correct. And I was seeing myself in that book. I was seeing uh, Coach Wendy's experience as my experience. And one thing, one of the sentences, and a particular, will I say a sentence that says, uh, the the capability to learn is a gift. And then mm. the ability to learn is a skill. And then mm. the willingness to learn is a choice. And I told mm. myself, you know, which one is your choice? It's about choice. If mm. I say, okay, my children are grown, my first issue, they are twins. They were in the university. They were, they were in um, maybe 300. They were in final year, that lockdown. Yes. They were in final year, yeah, that lockdown. But I look at myself. I see have, I have a, a son and, a, and my husband's nephew. Fact, my family is so different from others. Mm. When I say it's different, because we had so many people that have lived with us and that are still living with us. During that lockdown, we were 16 in this house. We were 16. My husband's cousins, when they were in the university, they were here. My husband's uh, a nephew and niece, they just graduated, they are serving now. My nieces, two of them, they are finished and they have gone back to their parents to their parents. My uh, and we have a foster daughter who actually she's, she's an orphan. So when I enter the inner circle and I see the way people will just post their three children, they are two children, uh, they are four children. Ah, how do I manage with this my own uh big family? But I kept telling myself, we all cannot be the same. God established families in such a way that each of us have responsibility. Each of us have a vision, you know, which of us have a purpose on earth. And the earlier we agree to this and imbibe what God has given us, the better for us. So mm. I entered Inner Circle 2021 
with that connect to correct if i i can't remember how many days i i didn't use weeks i used days to read that book and i finished it and i saw myself i saw how i was parented i saw that i gained low self-esteem because of the way i was parented i saw that you know uh actually we were intentional coach permit me to just share this this because it's a background of my own family mm. when we mm. married, before we got married we sat down to talk about it we caught it as christians so we're always meeting in the church, you know, that kind of cutting. We meet in the church, we discuss, but we never have a we never had a book to write it. That is one thing about TIP. We never documented anything. We had plan. Ah, my husband said, when we marry, we are not going to take up jobs that will take us away from our children. He got a job in Futo, and then I was working. By that time, I worked 14 years because after my uh, NCE, I began to work before I went back for my degree again. So I already worked 14 years when it is it, 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 we got married, and then we had this set of twins, and then he got a job. We married in Ibadan, and he got a job in Nowhere. So one of the on the day that particular year, I came with the twins. They were about a year old then, and I, we were in Nowhere. And he told me that he cannot go because the last time he came to Ibadan to visit us, my children were calling him uncle, and he didn't like mm. it, and he felt so mm. bad. But I even cried about it that he wouldn't want to stay alone. That what do I think about this? I when I prayed and God said to me, huh, that I should uh that he will do a new thing. That was what he said. And when he said yeah, he will do a new thing, that means the old has gone now. So mm -hmm. I trusted God and I went back to Ibadan and I I resigned. It was tough. My people were complaining. My friends were saying, Don't let this man destroy you. How is he the only person mm -hmm. that is not staying? And I said, Well, I had God. So eventually, <laughs> eventually. I resigned and I came to Owerri with, with the two kids. That was how we came to Owerri. So we started the journey being intentional in our own way. And actually, I was always depending on God. Hear, pray, you know, hear him tell me what should I do every time. So when I heard Ms. Osiri talking about God, the Holy Spirit and all that, but there was something she now said that I remembered. She said, when we now add knowledge and wisdom because it is what the knowledge we have that the holy spirit will remind us of mm. it is what we have heard or we have read that we have that the holy spirit will bring out from us when it is needed so i made up my mind i made up my mind to join the inner circle when I first joined, my friend would say, what do you want again in life that you are joining uh, in Asa? Even the lady teaching you people say it's young. I say, hey, in knowledge, it's not by age. Mm. Oh, yeah, I've, I've, all my life, I know I need to learn. So when we began that journey, we made some decisions. We would talk about it, but we don't document anything. I must be sincere. We never document. We would just say, we'll pray, probably in my, in my, in my, in my, in my, uh, daily journal of my prayer prayer daily journal i can just scribble something but it was not as uh uh, uh mr kuli ologe has taught us you know that we should do that or how coach wendy has also taught us this is what we should do we should document everything so that we can easily fall back on it so that was how i started this journey with tip but like i said my family we are so it's, it's a large family it's a large family. So it was another body for me. How do I manage this? But I remember one thing God did for me before I, I even joined the night circle. One morning I was praying and the Holy Spirit said, take an exercise book. Write the names of all those children living with you. Write, the, write it and then observe and see what how their character is because some came with baggages of uh, challenges, you know, attitudes and all that. So I did that and I wrote name one after the other. This person uh, can be deceitful. This person is so loving. This person forgives easily. I wrote everything I have observed and I began to pray about it. Another thing God you know, helped me that time was I love reading books so much. So I mm. was reading Mayer's book. I was reading uh, um, Mrs. Oyedepo's books, Mrs. Abioye's books, uh, uh, and then um, 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 Stormy Omasha, this, uh, The Power of a Praying Woman. The power of a, a praying mother, and then I bought them. My children were growing, and the other, you know, people around us. I had to buy the power of a praying kid. Gave them, 
And do you know that it was from in that book that my daughter, my biological daughter, received Jesus? Mm. When he shares her story, she will tell you, yes, my mommy had good news clubs in her neighborhood. I kept hearing the word of God. But until she gave me that, the power of a praying key, and then I was, I wanted to pray that morning. And the book, the woman wrote, Tommy Omesha said, if you want to pray this prayer, you can receive answers if you have totally surrendered your life to Jesus. And she said she kept weeping and she surrendered her life. What am I trying to say? My involvement with TIP has made me to know that wisdom and knowledge, according to Isaiah 3 verse 6, shall be the stability of our times. Yes, I can pray. Yes, I can pray. I can study. But if I don't have the right skills and tools, I mm. will struggle. And I discovered there are some things you don't even need to pray about. Mm. There are some things you don't need to really stretch yourself to pray because the skill, you know, the skill to manage it is there. So all you just do is you do it, you do the, you walk the walk. Do it. And then you just pray, ah, God, you see, I have done it though. Crown this effort with good success. Mm. And that's, here I am in TIP, and I thank God I made that choice in 2020. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. You are listening to Mrs. <laughs> Philomena Ogoke. Mrs. Philomena Ogoke is the proprietor of Life Foundation School. And, you know, she, she said something that was so instructive. She said, it's not about age. There is wisdom. There is knowledge. Yes, I have been intentional on my journey. I have had to, you know, do a lot of things. But getting knowledge is now getting me to a point where I'm beginning to see that there are things you do not need to pray about. There's something that I tell the inner circle parents. As you walk your journey as a Christian to the point, or even as whatever religion, to the point that you become scripture. I, I do not think that you understand it until you get into the inner circle. You become scripture yourself. You yeah. understand that <coughs> it's not just a multitude of prayer. It is in the multitude of becoming. You know, there is that person that you become and yeah. that, that just changes everything, that just removes the stress. Do you know, man, most of the times I have even seen that some of our prayers are prayed out of anxiety. I'm some of our prayers are prayed out of fear. Yes. So you're praying for your children. You hear parents say, hey, I'm praying for my children. Hey, oh, uh, I'm praying for my children. Oh, you're agitated. Your agitation is agitated. Mm -hmm. you're, 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 you're constantly at an edge. You are, you are on the edge. You are, you're constantly updating. As you're, hey, if I don't pray for my children, the devil, you know, we speak more of the devil than we can speak of the works of God. That's the generation of who we are. <coughs> and also something that you know we uh, i have walked through all right and, you know people can but yeah you don't know what the devil can do you don't know the devil <laughs> and testifying about the devil i have never been able to understand it mm -hmm. right that's because we're so afraid of what it is and that fear comes from the place of lack of knowledge that mm -hmm. fear comes from the place of if of not knowing what to do that fear comes from the place of being unskilled. The Bible says that when Abraham was taken, you know, the mm. man to go and say, skilled, trained men. Yes. Yeah. If you go through the scriptures, you understand that there's something about skilling up. There's something about training, right? Mm -hmm. And it is yeah. important that we put that into perspective, right? So we have Mrs. Philomena Ogoke. You know, sharing with us, Miss Philomena Ogoke mm -hmm. and her husband are in the in the couple's country, right? Her husband, yes. you know, uh, who is a professor in Futo, um, you know, it, they, are, they are a couple that I admire a lot. Couple that mm -hmm. have gone on a journey of, you know, this kind. See, this self development has no end. Mm. It doesn't even matter where we reached. We are still going, right? Mm -hmm. She's one of the others who, you know, she and her husband are in the couple's conclave. They were. You know, prof will participate, will do the things that they need to do. And they even hold conferences, parenting conferences in a way, right? where they yeah. are also putting up a whole lot, you know, for the people, for the families in that, um, 
in that in that space. It, it just showed you, she said during the pandemic, they just woke up and decided, let's not waste this time. Let's go and find knowledge because mm -hmm. knowledge is a key aspect of your journey. All right. So Mrs. Philomena is going to be sharing with us what her journey had been like. By the time she got into the inner circle, her children had already grown. And she said to us, mm -hmm. I have done some things. I have led my children to receive Christ. I have, yes, I've, I've already understood the walking in righteousness part. You know, there's something we say in the inner circle. Walking <laughs> in righteousness is just one thing because holiness is only one attribute of God. It's not yes. all the attributes of God. Mm, and mm. just pay attention to only holiness. You can raise God. a Jewish virgin. God. You can raise a child who is good, yet very foolish. And I think that's one of the things that our parenting, you know, had gone through by the time I came into the space. I just saw a lot of people raising children who were, in quotes, righteous, but yet very foolish. Unskilled God. children. Children. children who cannot actually, you know, own their own. Children who get into the world and get swallowed by the world. Children who do not understand the voice, the, the word of God that says that the children of this world are, are wiser than the children of mm. God. What is that thing that made, you know, what is that thing? Why was the scripture reading written in that manner? That the children mm. of the world are wiser. What is that wisdom? And mm. that is one of the things that is core for me because when I started to read, that's why I write my books the way I write them. When I started to read parenting books myself, I didn't find skills. I didn't find the things yeah. that I learned. Yeah. I learned on, I read every, almost everything that a parenting, that is on parenting topic. Mm -hmm. in almost everything. I didn't find that thing that can translate yeah. into becoming a skilled person that you should become. I found righteousness, which is something that we focus on. Oh, raising yes. a child, can, raising a child, but that's not all there is. And I found that that was a gap. And that was mm. a gap. And the Bible heated, said, talked about training and knowledge every time. And that's one gap that we are called and raised to fill. The place of training, the place of knowledge. And mm. I believe that that's what makes you an exceptional, a real godly child. Because wow. godliness, the Bible said, is profitable mm -hmm. unto all things, not one thing. And it's if, if it's profitable unto only raising a child who can pray and receive Jesus, then there's something wrong <coughs> with that godliness in itself. Because my God is a God that is, you know, all round excellent. You know, so it yeah. is a key factor to our journey. All right. Yeah. So um, let, let's go over to uh, Mrs. Philomena <laughs> Ogoki. She's been in the inner circle for three years. She's a conclavite. She is a an <laughs> inner circle. <laughs> oh my you goodness! The people in the marriage scene will call herself conclavite. She's an inner yada. <laughs> She's in the front of the yard. I remember oh after goodness. second year. When um, the parenting launch plan was launched, right? We call it our our manual. She came our, manual. Said, our manual. She came to me. She said, "Coach, I need to do level two again. Let me go calibrate what I do. I get no move for it." So, ma, how has the inner circle transformed what it is yeah. that you have done? I, I know you are prof to be very intentional. I have, yeah. you know, heard you guys. I have also seen the works that you guys have done. What is that thing? You know, there's also that tendency of, I know what I'm doing. I, hmm. I, I've been there, done that. We've been intentional. Why do I need to learn about intentionality again? Right? What is that thing that the inner circle has helped you do? You know, um, adding to what it is that you have done with Prof on your journey as parents. Over to you, man. Yeah, thank you so much, Good Wendy. So, you know, exciting speaking with you. <laughs> Uh, the inner circle has actually helped me to, to correct some things, some mistakes we made earlier. Um, when I got that book, Walking Your Child Through Poverty, mm. I sat down with that book and mm. I knew that with my uh, 
children that have grown up, I didn't really do much. I just, maybe because it's, I'm a teacher, I got this knowledge of this and that, and because my mom never taught me anything about poverty. <laughs> my mom never, she, the only thing I remember she told me was when I was going to Polytechnic, that I should be careful and know the daughter of who I am. And then if any man touches me, eh, I will be pregnant. And if I'm pregnant, I know that it has finished. And I had friends, our boys, who will touch me. Pregnancy didn't come. When I, <laughs> when I saw my period, I didn't even know what to say. Sincerely speaking, I didn't know how to tell my mom. She would say, hey, what, what happened to you? I didn't, I'm, I'm, I'm so sincere with what I'm saying. I was in uh, form, I think form two or so, you know, I, I'm not GS, GS, uh, GSS and SSS student, no. I already graduated in second, from secondary school that time. What I'm trying to say is the fact that nobody taught me about puberty. So when I pick, when I had those, my children and the other, our nieces and nephews and cousins that were with us, some were older. So some of the boys, we also be talking to the other, to my boys. And me too, with the knowledge I have, I would tell them about wet dreams. But it was not real. It was not, you know, the step by step with confidence was not there. I knew that. So when I got walking your child through puberty, I sat down and I read it. My last born is now for. 14 yes he's 14 and my husband's nephew with us now is uh, 11 so i have two of them that are younger so i sat i first sat my my son down and i told him you are now growing i think it was 11 years that time i began to talk to him about it i began to you know he has a workbook so i will open the workbook for him he will read it do you know that my son will go behind me and carry that book and read it. My son mm. can teach. Eh? My son can walk you through puberty. Let me just say that. Mm. I am not, I'm not so good at all those terms, all those uh, medical... He will, he will call it and he will tell you this is this. If anything happens wow. to him in his body, he will say, Mommy, I think this is puberty. This wow. is puberty sign. I am happy, Coach Wendy. Mm. One thing I am happy for joining TIP is that if I go to sleep today, eh, I know that I've, I've been able to raise children and then know how to raise children that will turn out to be godly seed to the glory of God. Working your child through puberty was what made, in fact, it made me so happy. So what I did with him and the other, my other husband nephew is, I made, I, you know, I had to go to the internet again and I uh, got this, this worksheet that will enable the child to ask questions from older boys. Mm. So we use my older boys as, as respondents. How did you get to know mm. about that? How did you know? How did you get to know about the changes in your body? Awesome. My sons, they wrote Uncle, 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 Uche, Uncle, this, uh, mommy, small, daddy, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we, we didn't talk about if I, there was a time I said talk to these children about this thing ah, you just do like this <laughs> for the TIP the academy equipped me equipped me to be able to walk these children through puberty with confidence and then to be able to help other children in my school mm. because coach coach in my church, they, they don't know nothing, even the parents. And what pains me is that I know that I don't know something very well. And then mm. I come across something that will help me, a knowledge that will help me to improve on myself. And then I keep it aside. And that is mm. why that quote now I, I mentioned earlier, the capability to learn is a gift. Ability to learn is a, is a skill. And the yeah. willingness is a choice. Yeah. Is a choice. I tell myself, see, even if TIP is free, eh? Coach Wendy, you say, okay, from 2024, which it cannot be, it is free all over the world. Some people will still not come. True. Some people will still not, they will say, what is it? True. What is it? True. And in, and True. in the, what is it? What is it? Eh? What is it? What is it? What is it? Things are, this, you know, things are spoiling. Children are being damaged. So for me, in the inner circle, how many will I talk about? Mm. This is my last son. 
when he entered JS1, you know, I already started the puberty thing with him. So one of the days he came back from school and said, Mommy, something happened in my school today because if there is anything like connection, we connect, we, we connect with our children. And that's one thing I thank God for my husband. Our daughters, yeah. I have one biological daughter, but all the daughters that have been with us, everything about their school is him. In fact, my biological daughter calls my husband more than me. Mm. It's not that I would say, ah, Naomi called her, ah, Olive called her, Jessica called her, because that's the way he, uh, you know, he, he, he approached it from the beginning, and it has helped us yeah. a lot. Yes. So my son came back from school and said, because each day when he comes, the first thing is he will tell us what has happened in school today, and my husband nephew too. So my son said, mommy, what something happened? I think I was in the story. She came to meet me. I was the one alone there. He said, mommy, something happened in school today. My phone teacher called me and said that there's a girl in another class, uh, wrote a love letter to me, that I love you, when I see you, uh, uh, my body moves somehow, you are the first person that met me and said that you, you like me, uh -huh. but me, I love you. Hey, go to Wendy. I said, my son, tell me the whole truth, because tomorrow morning, I'm coming to your school. And usually, when they enter a new class or a new school, I will go to the school and, you know, identify with the form teacher, secondary school now, form teacher. This is my son, this is my daughter, Please, I'm Philomena Oboke. My husband will be coming here, help us. If there's anything, call us, you know. So I already gone to meet the form teacher. You know, said, eh, and then the form teacher of that girl too came and said, Why did why did he tell the girl that he likes the girl? Mm. Before the morning, Coach Wendy. Meanwhile, that month, my son was to read, they were to read Maintain Your Wife by Auntie Etima. The following month, they were to read Crush That Crush. Hey, Jesus mm. is not. So she, we were on that maintain your wife. Me, I already read it now. Mm. So when we now got there, I said, my son, just tell me everything. I got to the school. I went with crush that crush because I already know that that girl, the mother has not taught her anything. Mm. So I went to school. When I got there, I, I met my son's form teacher. We greeted. I said, ma'am, anything? I said, yes. My son told me something. He said, he told you? I said, yes. He told me that there's a problem. A girl wrote a love letter to him. And then I have come to, can you permit me to see the girl? He said, yes, let's go and get the other form teacher. So he got the form teacher. That one was furious. Oh, you know what? You know women are when we don't have the knowledge. The way we, do, we used to behave. Uh -huh. me, yes, I, was so. I was calm because no matter what happens, there is a solution. I've always told my son, yes, so. don't panic. Yes, so. Don't, panic. don't mm. panic. So I got there. They took us to one room and then as the girl saw me, the girl came in and she began to cry. Coach Wendy, I mm. gave this girl one hug, eh? That you know that kind of hug you will hug somebody. Then tell me, because God, when people get thought, I will start shouting for what? I have seen in that uh, walking your child through puberty. Oh, most God does not build that. Oh, more. It's, it's not that day you will marry your husband that will be there. Mm -hmm. Coach Wendy has mm -hmm. taught us through mm -hmm. that book. Mm. You understand? So I, I hugged her for some, in fact, about one minute. I made sure the thing, you know, we felt ourselves. Mm. I wiped her tears with my hands. And I said, Nini, sit down. What is your name? She told me. How is your father? I said, fine. How is your mom? He said, they are fine. I said, they are alive. I said, has your mom ever taught you, told you anything about the changes in your body? She said, no. Mm. Well, I should cry. But whether I should not, I, I, but I, I just had to help hold myself. The teachers were mm. watching me, the two of them. I mm. said, I'll talk to you small about the development of your, in your bodies, in your body. So I began to talk to her. So I brought that book, Crush That Crush. You know, I had to, when I joined the, I had to get your books. I mm. began to sell. Yes. Mm. So I had that Crush That Crush. I think I got that one from Auntie Tima with Maintain Your White. So I got that and I, yes. gave, I said, this is the book I'm going to give you. You are going to read it. You see what has happened to you? It's part of life. But it's just that you didn't mm. handle it well. I said, what did my son mm. tell you in the first place? He said, okay, that day they were, they were going home. Because I can drop him in school. Still in the Nasaku, we should not be afraid. They can go come home by themselves. Yes, I, so. I did that testing with him too. Because our grown-ups was, was when they were in SS that we allowed them to be coming back home. For him from JS1. He will come and meet me in school, and then from school, we'll come home together. So I began to talk to the girl, and I gave her that book. And I said, you will read this book. After one week, you come back, and I will come, I will come to school, and then I will talk with you. Coach mm. Wendy, 
Others were looking at me like this. I encourage her. I said, you are a girl. And there's so much more in you. You are be the girl so is beautiful. Though. The girl is beautiful. You are so beautiful, everybody black. But there is something mm. God has put in you. And do not allow anybody. I said, my son told me that he didn't say he loves you. He said he likes you. That's what he told me. And the boy, the guy said, yes, ma. He said he liked me. But me, I love him. When he passed, I would just like, I would think there's something in me. You know, that, that crushing over somebody came upon the girl. And I encouraged her, wiped away her tears. I said, God is with you. Make sure mm. this book very well. If there's any question, I will come to the school back and then you'll talk to me. Coach, I saw the girl somewhere. I went to the, this, you know what, you know where very well. I went to um, uh, Orchard Pharmacy. As I came mm. out, let me enter. I see this girl saw me. She was coming. She was she said she was going to her mother's shop. She was screaming on the road. Mommy, 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 mommy. When we finished that talk in that class, the two teachers said, Mommy, what happened? Where I don't understand. We don't understand. What happened that uh, you handled this thing this way? I said it's knowledge. I had mm. to talk. How much, how many books have you read? You people are teachers. The next thing they were planning to do is to shame both of them. Mm. The other, the other, my, 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 my son's form teacher said, no, I know, I know he gets you very well. I don't think he can do such a thing. How many months has he stayed? But the other one would say, how will you tell him, oh, a girl? How old are you? No, 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 no. Meanwhile, they did worse. So. No, so mind them. I, <laughs> I, 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 talk to, I talk to both of them. I encourage them. I said, this is what we are doing. You need knowledge. The following week, I think my son's form teacher said, he needs some titles. This connect to correct. I don't know where he has not gone to. This connect to correct. Disconnect to correct. So it has helped me in helping my children. My daughter, mm. my biological daughter, is a stammerer. She stammers. But because God has helped us to be intentional, it didn't, she didn't create herself like that because my husband stammers too. So we mm. help her. We, we, we encourage her. But we cannot be with her every time. So she began to see herself that she can do it. She's quite intelligent. But to talk was a problem. And she grew up, mm. she grew up, she grew up, she grew up. She grew up. So there's a work I'm doing on uh, on uh, self-esteem. So I called her one of the days, you know, this I think this this month, and I said, "Can you just tell me your experience about this uh, stuttering?" She said, "Mom, mm. one thing I thank God for is you and Daddy. You know that time oh. when we were reading Bible in the morning, uh, in the evening when we were reading Bible. You know, I used to take time before I can start, and at mm. times when I get to the, you know, I get reading. At times I get stuck, and I I begin, I would just take quiet, but." None of you ever shouted and said, Come on, come on, come on, while are you doing this? Mm. Mm. And you know that this girl, on her own, after that lockdown, began to build herself. She had to eventually, after she, I think she had a coach that helped her, and then eventually she started this uh, stuttering girl on Instagram. Wow. Mastered right. this. She mastered the art of stuttering, you know. She mastered it and how she would be able to speak in public, public speaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was how she began to help other, other people, other young people, how, how they stammer. In fact, she said, Mommy, the things that people tell me, I, I just wonder. Some people have been damaged because they, they stutter. People call them names, they, they, you know, they, they, they laugh at them in public and all that. And it is not good. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened? My daughter stammers. And because God has helped her to be able to know that one thing God has helped me with this TRB, because they see the way I read books. I coach, I there's none of your titles, it's just these three ones that I just come and I don't have, and and a, a, a siblings library. I pay for it when I went to collect it from your sister. You say it was not available, so I used to collect uh, uh, uh raising the uh, independent thinking child. Mm. So they see me the way I do everything, I, I, I take classes, they too. They, they invite it. They are either doing mm. one thing or the other. So this girl mm. was just out to help herself. Mm. She finished from Redeemer's University. She and her brother. Their final year, there was this grant they were supposed to, uh, you know, get from CBN. And she called her dad one day. I said, Daddy, I was uh, picked though, to be one of those that will go for interview in the school and then um, go and represent the school. To make a proposal, you know, at Central Bank of Nigeria. Hey, when did that told me that say, hey, how we know we do this one? 
But I know he will do it. She will be able to do it if she's picked. Well, they say there were about five of them that were picked from different uh, faculties. The day of the interview, me and my husband were praying, God, just help her. If you want her to do it, help her. Do you know that my daughter was the one that was picked? Hey, God. To go yeah. represent Redeemers at CBN. She yeah. said, when they started, because she already mastered the art of managing her stuttering. And you know, the devil already knows where we are going to. He knows. Even if he doesn't have the whole picture, he knows that this person is great because each child created by God is fearfully and wonderfully made. So he said, when they started, there's this boy that came from abroad and then the boy had this phonetics and all that. So it was like the boy was overconfident because of his phonetics, but they didn't pick him. It was Naomi, the daughter, that was picked mm. to represent their school at CBN. Towards the tail, the end, they were to leave the school for the proposal, you know, to propose that to receive a grant from them. What am I trying to say? The inner circle gave me this confidence to know mm. that there is nothing that is not possible. Mm. See, we have to model. You see, when we talk and talk and talk, if the modeling is not there, That's these children it. will. If you, as a parent, you are a mother, you are a father, you don't study. You don't take these courses. You don't see the children see you that despite your age, you still believe that learning never ends. It never ends. Mm. And the consistency in all you do, they are picking it one mm. after the other. Mm. So I, I can see, I, I, if we continue to talk about it today, my foster daughter, a lot about her because where she was coming from, my God, a, she has learned so many, she has been exposed to so many things. But when she came in and she wanted to start, she, in fact, she started it. She had a relationship with one boy. And it is not part of our values. You know, in fact, this, I, I think I left that out. The first thing we did in this home was to create the family, because it's a, you must do it, the family vision board, which we did. How did we do it? We called ourselves, because we have been here together for many years. I told my husband, we are going to do it. They are the ones that will tell us the values. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that would mention those values. Coach Wendy, these children started fear of God, number one. Honesty. They were, they were saying it in their own words. One, one said no cheating. One said faithfulness. One said be skillful. One said relevance. One said we began to write. So at the end of the day, my husband just, you know, wrapped it up and we were able to in our sitting room, in our living room, we will see very big. We, we did it and we put it there. I didn't know that before I joined the inner circle. I didn't know that. And my foster daughter began to, you know, bring out. But at the point, my husband said, I don't like anybody that will stay with me must follow the rule, the, the values, so to say. And this girl, because of the things she has seen, she has been through before she lost her parents. So one of the days in school, she she wrote a love letter you know love letter doesn't finish in school or in church you are teaching them in the church they are writing love letter i'll quote you i'm so telling she wrote, you <laughs> she wrote my love letter and love brought letter, her, you know they finish it doesn't finish <laughs> so they brought her to my office and they were shouting and the girl was already melting when we got home that night i took her to my room i hugged her I said, why mm. did you do that? If I were, she began to cry. Coach Wendy, when this girl told me about her life, she was maybe 11 that time. She told me what she has been through. She told me the number of abuses she's been through. Uh, as if you look at Children are gifts from God. This one doesn't have mm. parents. Even if I say she mm. should go. And the people I want to send her to are those. One of them have abused her. Me and my husband sat down. I will say, this work has come. And when that girl began to tell me what she has been through, so I began to counsel her from that point. Today, eh, there was one camp meeting we had. Things camp meeting. She came up to testify of what God mm -hmm. has done for her. And said, if you are here, you are talking of a uh, boyfriend. Eh? they will just deceive you when 
I see anybody that have issues with maybe rape and all that, I will call her to come and talk to the person. She's now, she's in 200 level in photo now. Hmm. She would call, she would, she would both, I mean, she came out, because that day, all of us were crying. <laughs> she came out boldly and said, see, I've been through so many things. I've been through so many things. And I know that if God has not helped me, and if the way my parents now have not helped me, I mean, to, to, to take me and separate, you know, separate my, 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 uh, uh, what I'm doing and my person, I will not be here. Mm. We, and we make our children to know that they don't need anybody to mess them up. They don't, they mm. don't need anybody to mess them up. They, there's nothing they cannot do. I said, see, when you look it, eh? There's something in Yoruba I used to say myself. I said, when do you log it? I know, I know Chief Kodikule uh, 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 Logi will, will understand what I'm saying. I know Chief Kodikule Logi That is, a child, somebody will see and say, God, help, give me this kind of a child. That was why I went to see your parents. That was the time you <laughs> taught us honor as a skill. And it was on your birthday. You just drop in my spirit. Why don't you go and see this? These ladies' parents, they are blessings. So that morning, I called mommy, and mommy came out because I couldn't really navigate, navigate the turn right, turn left, and we got to the house. Daddy took control. Daddy, daddy tell, told me stories. And I said, I have come to honor you, sir, and ma. I've come to tell you that God has used you to raise a godly seed. This is, the, this is what God has command in Malachi 2.15b. Raise godly seed for me. God has helped you, man. I've come to honor you. And you think I will not have that testimony too? I'm going to mm. have it. I'm mm. already having it. Because when my children were in school, I would see my friends and say, hey, I don't know what the children will be doing. I never for once panic that my daughter was in school or my daughters, they were in school. Because God has helped us to do the work. And the part where I knew we didn't do very well, we began to, you know, unlearn, relearn, and learn and learn and learn and do the work again. So mm. that is it, cool. My son, wow. my son, my first son, you know, I said they are twin. Another thing God has helped us to establish in them is that you must be skillful. There must be something apart from going to school because that is what we were taught. Go to school, read very well, have good grades, then go and mm. get a job. Mm. Mm. Which affected many of us during that lockdown. Mm. But I told myself, I won't stay here. I will continue learning. So mm. we, we, we sing it, we tell them that it is not only uh, school work that will make you in life. You need skill. Mm. Raising skill for children. You need skill. So we continue to help them. After GS3, that my, my first son told us that he would like to you know, be exposed to photography. And we had this... Uh, Two young men that come to our school to take us pictures for a long time they have been they won't come in and then we ask him to stay with them coach to cut the long story short my son read mass communication and he's serving when he finished uh, in the university he told he called us and said mommy i'm not coming home i don't want to be right. doing mama tansa papa tansa coach when do you understand correct this thing he said, I don't want to come and be doing Mama Tansa, Papa Tansa. I've identified somebody who left my school for some time. He's a mentor to him. And that young man, what that young man is doing with young people in Lagos, you know, spiritually and every other areas. And the young man agreed. And my son stays with him. He began to follow him to church. My son mm -hmm. was using his phone to take pictures. Pastor picture will take and I will go and give the pastor. Pastor said, wow. Correct. Wow. This is good. Coach, <laughs> when the boy was to go for service, the pastor told him, say, son, anywhere they post you, you can say you want to, you want to redeploy. They posted him to uh, acquire bomb. My son told them, I want to redeploy. They redeployed him back to Lagos. Do you know that where the pastor walk, he had to, they had to create a, a, a section for this, my son. And he takes their pictures. The other day, he called us, mommy, we are, we are going to, I'm at the airport. We are going to Port Harcourt from, uh, from Lagos, sorry, from Lagos. I'm going to take some, to cover some things for the for my company. Photography. Mm. 
another time you hear about we will be going to uh, I'll be in Lagos, I'll be in Abuja this this weekend because uh, there's a there's a couple that will be getting married. They booked me for this. They booked me for that. Coach Wendy, mm. skill, mm. skill. Because after that lockdown, you know, men, our eyes were really, really, really opened to many things. You also talk about allowing our children to, you know, to to the, the, the giftings in them to manifest, to be front mm. of flame, to find mm. expression. My two sons, they sing. As, as in, they sing. The my second son sings Afro. To be candid, I didn't really like that. You know, the, the song he sings is like all this. Well, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. But there was a day you said something. You said it's not only this, this uh, uh, Christian gospel song mm -hmm. that minister to somebody. You said it. He said there are some of the lyrics that we hear when we hear the way we listen very well. Eh? It's 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 quite inspiring. I began to listen to my songs eh, the lyrics. I hear that. I will hear. I will say I've not been listening. No. Last week, I had to sit down with him. I said, son, be reading those lyrics for me. And he began to read. There's this song, my life, my, my life, jaga jaga, my life, wuru wuru. But when I found mercy or something, something like that, that he sang, coach, I began to encourage him. I began to tell him. He has released about 10 covers. He just, by himself, he's in school, he's, in, he's, in, he's going to 300 level now in regiments. And my last song too, that one, you will just will be in the room, you will just hear him. We'll go to the back with our M, with his MP. How the inspiration comes, I don't know. I can't explain. You just hear this boy, you just scribble it, you write it. What am I trying to say? We encourage them in whatever they want to do. None of our uh, my son must do medicine. We never told any of them this is what you should do. We watched them, we were watching them, we were looking at what they were good at. I will say, Ah, can you do this? Can you do that? We never force any of them to do medicine. You must do medicine. Because there are some cases, even yesterday, the case I'm handling now, the mother of the girl wants her to do medicine. And the father said, told me, he said, he has PhD. My son, my daughter is not a science student, but the, my wife will not listen. What am I trying to say? TIP eh, is an end time move. It's like mm. an ark. Ark, when God told Noah, Ask people to come in, they didn't come in. But those, the, the family that came in and those animals, mm. two by two that came in, eh, they were preserved. So it is an end time mm. move. And God has chosen Coach Wendy uh, uh -huh, as the Noah of the ark. And all of us that God has also chosen, because in this end time, God has also you know chosen some people who will not perish. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. is where the choice you make now comes in. But if you refuse, if God has, you know, God has chosen you to be a part of it and you are refusing, you have yourself to blame. Mm. So I can't finish my story. Wow. Ah. <laughs> wow. Programs oh, wow. Is it about the evaluating the church and the children? How many wow. would like to coach? Wow. I wow. When I was praying wow. for you, that's wow. the word I was saying. Eyes have wow. not seen, ears have not heard. Wow. Neither has it mm. entered the heart of men what God will do mm. to you in this world. Mm. Wow. I don't know about you. Um, this is one of those sessions that um, you, you listen to and you don't know what exactly it is that you're hearing. <laughs> I don't know about you. I've heard so many things. Wow. Uh, Mrs. Philomeno Goki had spoken today. And a lot of the things that happened when it comes to, you know, this journey, I tell you that the journey of the others, people interpret their journey, <laughs> their interpretation of their journey is different. The, the highlight for me was a daughter, you know, uh, being a stutterer and now leading to actually become a caller of the people who are now stuttering in her generation. See, you are either an advantage to your child or you are a disadvantage to your child. There are no two ways about it. You can either be an advantage to your child or a disadvantage. 
and it, look at what what looks like a disadvantage look mm. at how powerful he's become how powerful is translated into something that is going to now you're going to hear about her it, it, it's just that's that's how it is it that's tomorrow you're going to you know start saying uh -uh. <laughs> there's someone who is actually trying to put together you know uh, um speech touching and all of that i i could relate my dad is a stutterer so i could relate my immediate younger brother who teaches in the, in the university of maryland is a stutterer as well so i can relate so well to you know the stuttering testimony it was touching for me because um i learned public speaking from my dad and yet my dad was a stutterer so that there, there are a lot of things that can happen to you right if you are an advantage and there was something that madame philomena said she said the tip is an end time move i have said it severally apart from the people who can say it it's not my message it is not a coach wendy message so when people come to me hey must we buy books hey must we do this hey must we? I, I laugh because because you still think it's about me that's why you are still at the place where you are asking, oh, must we buy books? Oh, must we, are we not just going to pay money? And just, <laughs> you, haven't seen it. you haven't seen the things that a lot of people have seen. And if you mm. can't see it, you can't tap into it. It becomes, mm. it becomes one of those things to you. Yeah. It becomes one of those places. I was sitting mm -hmm. in a session with um, the Adjors. I was sitting in a session with Federal Adjo and uh, Mr. Adjo. They are both here in the comment section. And Mr. just said something to me. He said, I had to come to a place where I was asked. My wife said, let's define what the TIP is for us. And wow. this man said to the wife, the Intentional Parent Academy is my life. Wow. And when <laughs> something becomes your life, then it means that it's everything. He said, coach, this is everything to me. I finished that session and I cried. He, huh. he doesn't know about it. And I was like, wow, how could you? have a mandate that have become so tangible in the in the lives of people when mrs philomena was sharing about the hogs and i was just thinking a hog look at the transformation that have happened just because a hog is partly transferred a hog <laughs> there are too many things in this conversation that you 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 are you're missing if you're not listening twice as hard a simple hug and she said i got this inspiration from reading the book walking your your child through poverty mm -hmm. and you know at walking your child through poverty and i see these things happening to this student all i can think is how do i show compassion to change the narrative and this woman has exemplified as she's talking i'm like oh my, some people can leave books you know how you read the book you do a course you do a course and you literally you literally leave it and you can see it in the areas of what is happening in his in her children you you just see them how would they not learn how would they not put themselves in model places when their dad who is a professor sits <laughs> and says, you know what we are still learning he's in the conclave they are in the tip they are learning parenting they are married marriage their children are grown so when parents come to me and say oh we are, if you cannot leave a curriculum your children can become it never <laughs> you will need to leave a curriculum for your children to become it you see all these are my children are grown what do i do how do i navigate you are the one that need to leave that curriculum until you leave it it, it profits nothing really you need to leave it your children just need to actually when you now have adult children all you need to do is to be a yes model they just want you model that is it that is it that's your greatest gift Modeling. they just watch you and they become in TIP, we are no longer raising baby mama's children who will go mm -hmm. for service and come back and come and eat food. Like, ah, please give that you. Give your son a hug from me to him. Yes, sir. <laughs> give him a hug and tell him that hey, I said that he is a man. That way. Yeah. 
Who is a child? The child is finishing school and you are, you are baby in the yeah. child inside your house. Like how? Maka, why? Like, coach, <laughs> my daughter my daughter will be, you know, uh, passing out, um, I think on the ninth. He already told the dad that there's a course at um, IIT, International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, that mm. she's to take. So from there, she's going to Ibadan. Come on. She will be in Ibadan for one week about biochemistry. Because that's what she, she wants to continue with it. So she said, Mommy, the, the school I want to further, you know, go further, it will be an advantage for me if I take this uh, course for one week. She has paid from the from Undo State, she will go to Ibadan. <laughs> because they know that their lives are in their hands. You have to do it. There's no lion anywhere. No, no lion. lion. Which lion? Hmm. Which lion? Where you have the lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh, they are not Jesus. afraid of all the oh they are kidnapping. Oh, my children cannot, yeah. cannot. Oh, they cannot fly. No. Oh, they cannot mm -hmm. come on. Mm -hmm. You know, these are some of the things. There's something Miss Philomena said. She said the inner circle has given me confidence. Yes. There's a confidence that just comes out of you. There's just yes. something that yes. just tells you that this thing, it, yes. there's nothing like, are you sure it will work? If you don't yeah. leave the curriculum, that's when you begin to have doubts. Yeah. You can <laughs> only have doubts when you are not leaving it out. Mm. When you leave it out, there are no doubts. None. None. You will just know that your children will walk into that. Curriculum colors your life. However, you yes. are the curriculum. Yes. Curriculum colors it. your life. You are the curriculum, your, your child curriculum your child is going to work through so every time that you're saying why well, my children not doing this now you are the work you are the work and you must be able to actually walk through there so for parents who are constantly asking me my children are old my children are this is your curriculum this is your this is your own landscape oh my Take goodness. It. begin to run with it there are a lot of things that you know, Miss Philomena has said this morning that has brought me close to tears this morning. And I tell you, I, I say that the TIP is a separation mandate. All yes. of us are not going to But if you understand the separation mandate, then you key into it. Mm. Not all of us will be separated. And I want to yes. say again, thank you so much for that honor for my parents. I remember that on that day, my dad <laughs> couldn't finish talking about it. My dad is a talker. My dad yeah, I enjoyed staying with them. Oh my! My dad is a hype man. I I, oh I say it all the time. Yeah. Mommy my, was just there. Mommy was just there, smile. My dad is a hype man. He will hype you. One. Into your, he will hype you into your into your your, your glory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know he will call me, and then he prayed. He prayed for her. He prayed for me. I want to say yes. thank you. Yes, yes. No. You know, yeah, that's simplify some of the things they learn in such a way that you know that that just blow my mind. Some mm. things I have seen others to are the things that that's when you know that the mandate is not about you. I was no, listening no. to David the other day. That some of the things that she has done, I was asking myself, me. How did she translate this thing to this? To this, <laughs> to this? How? It is a separation mandate. Yes, I see Mr. Joe asking me, wow, really? Yes, sir. It, it was <laughs> it was a redefining. Some of the, the, the sessions I've had with the others redefine what it is that I do. Redefine yeah. what it is that that's, this mandate is about. I was listening to Mrs. Philomena. I didn't want her to stop talking. I was <laughs> wrapped up in what she was saying completely. I was going to just quickly take, you know, the few, you know, webinars that she has attended that made... A, a mark in her journey so she can name the top two top three webinars that she has attended so far that have made a mark in her journey in the next yeah. you know 15 minutes will be rounding off just tell us ma she has already mentioned her best, her best <laughs> book <laughs> her best <laughs> book tell us about the webinars in a circle and what it's done for her journey over to you ma um um coach wendy um I, there are so many of them the teachings the live the tuesday live but there's this uh uh topic on friendship friendship yes. i think it was an entertainer that took it yes yes on friendship on making french friends or something ah yes when i finished listening to her that day oh my god 
I said to myself, I may not be able to have this kind of a circle because it is not one martial. All mm. of you, huh? you have the same mindset. But I said for my children, they will have the mm. same. Mm. You see, that, web, that webinar eh, made me to know that my choosing to uh, go through this school is that I am making up my mind that some things should end with me. Mm. Let me pay the price. Some of the challenges in life eh, should end mm. with me because to have friends who have the same mindset with mindset with you, you can't get it easily. Mm. It's not something you walk on the road and see. Even if you, some mm. people will tell you, I love you, I like you. Ah. Mm. Something will happen to you like this, eh? You will just say that they don't like you. Mm. Just see yourself coming up like this, eh? God is announcing you somehow. You will see the enemy will come. But I have seen you people most times when, when you post this, you always see me comment. You and your friends and Tetima, and I don't know their names, that Edo lady woman too, and all that, all of them. When I see you people, and there was a day, in fact, in fact during that webinar, Auntie, Auntie Etima shared with us different kind of friends. And told us that if we are able to have the same people in our community, in our, you know, as our set in our circle, we will go far. It's a currency. Mm. And I remember one of the days also you, you you mentioned that when you gather to, you know, when you meet, because you have times you meet, you, you meet to pray, you meet to, you know, talk about yourselves, your progress. And then even if some if somebody is doing something wrong, you will. You will correct the person and the person will take it with love ah that is what we all need you see some of the struggles we've had eh, is because we are not in the right circle mm. somebody was telling me mm. the other day say ah the way, the way coach when they used to you know project these people project a book project a doze project this i say ha ah, you don't understand they're in a circle they understand they, are, they, they speak the same language. They know where they are going to. And all of them must be accountable to her. They honor her. And they have to obey her because she's the one that God has put in their lives eh, to as a model. And that is what is happening. So nobody should be jealous of anybody. <laughs> so that friendship... For me, I may not. I'm sorry. I don't know whether I'm saying the truth. Because I even tried mm. it this year. Uh, mm. Before I started trying mm. to talk to them, the thing has even scattered. So mm. I told myself. I, I, know, I know what you're talking about. Bishop says something. You cannot play Thank football. You. Uh -huh. At 19. At, at uh -huh. so, <laughs> for my children, uh, for my children mm. I have made up to, to teach them very well. To tell them, wow. you have a tribe. Mm. Even in this this parenting lunch plan, I'm trying to put together when we we'll launch the twins out. Their tribe, they must know their tribe because if you miss mm. it mm. in the place of marriage, in the place of choosing friends, you have challenges. And then wow. another webinar, I can't really remember the title now, was the one you gave us after the presidential election result was announced. Ah, mm. that webinar. Coach Wendy, <laughs> I had to say, Prof, listen to this one. No? Make it was Listen, nation. <laughs> are we actually ready for the new Nigeria? Mm. And it is the truth. And it is the truth. My mindset, paying of taxes, doing the right thing. Yes, we are in a, a, a we are in a, in a setting in a country where people don't want to do the right thing. But you made mm. us understand that it is not just having the president up there, it is from us we doing that which is right. I can't just, you know, to, the, the time is gone. I, I don't really be able mm. to talk about the school, the school, back mm. to school. How many will I talk about? Emotional mm. intelligence, how mm. I've been able to transfer. But there was a time I met you after a particular webinar where I asked you uh, uh, the skills I can teach children in the school. And we yeah. had a session with you and you told yeah. me so many things and yeah. I began to implement it in my school. I began to implement it. You know, teaching children how to button, how to dress. Some of these children don't do anything in their homes. They don't do nothing. Mm. It's their house help. Mm. Mm. With the, after, after lunch, each class have where they go, they wash their plates. If they go, they should rewash it. But here, 
we will teach your child how to wash plates. There are days the teachers will tell them to come with their slippers. The days they wear canvas. Eh? As they get to school in the morning, we'll be sure that it will be sunny. That they, at least we will look at the weather. We will try to. We don't do it during rainy season. They will wash their, they will wash their canvas. They will wash the, the canvas. Each person will wash, dry it. For the nursery, they will wash their socks in the school. We put a rail for them. They will hang it. Before we close school, it has dried. So we began to teach them skills. We use needle and thread to do to sew. I'm trusting God by the time we move to our site, we'll be able to have sewing machine. At least introduce them to all these things. Mm. Mm. Some children cannot put cannot put thread in the needle. Some children cannot thread the needle when we started these things. Mm. And it, how many will I talk about, Coach? Is it back mm. to school? Mm. Is it uh, mm. uh, 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 what successful parents, you know, those who have raised children, what uh, parents of successful children they did that made their children to be successful? Mm. There are too many. There are wow. too many of them. Wow. Too wow. many of them. Wow. In fact, as, as, as Mrs. Philomena Goke was talking about the session I had with her, I remembered, I remembered, you know, sharing yeah. those things, you know, and, you mm -hmm. know, and how that had transformed what she does in her school. When one of the reports that my, my goddaughter's, you know, father kept got back to me was that that school is different. That's one of the things he said to me. He said, there's something about that school that is different in the schools I see nowhere. I say it would be different. She's a yada. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has to be different. You know, it just has to be different. I remember that when our son, right, um, was in school, in Mrs. Bankole school here in Abuja, that's where he learned how to trade his clothes, you know, trade and needle. Mm -hmm. Your clothes will yeah, you carry it in school. They will give you trade mm -hmm. and needle. You will sew, yes. you will sew his bag. In fact, there's a picture I still have of him sewing his bag. <laughs> All these people help me. Bag is done. I don't know what to do with it. I don't understand. Is it my bag? <laughs> he was in grade four. He was sewing wow. his bag in the school. They would tell him. Wow. My uh, uh my network went off, you know, and then you know, she's been able to build all of that skills. Of course, we don't have time for her to even see, say how that had transformed our school. But of course, <laughs> obviously, you know what the answers are. But my, as we conclude, talk a bit about your marriage. How has the journey, you know, translated your marriage more? What has happened to your relationship with your spouse and maybe you know, other people from this journey as we conclude? Well done, man. Yeah, uh, actually, my marriage, I, I want to really thank God for giving me uh, an involving husband, to be candid. Mm. Yeah, from beginning, my husband has been involving. He just knew that this is a mandate God has given him to raise children. And that's why he has this large heart of having so many people around. In as much as God has helped us, but um, I will encourage people to, you know, one thing I've observed is the, the, uh, the smaller the, the family unit, the family, you know, the, you can do more. Mm. You can help them the more. But when you have a very large mm. family, you will mm. stretch, you know, ah, my experience, you will stretch. Mm. Every spiritually, financially, you will stretch and stretch and stretch. But God has helped us. So between my, my husband and I, God has really helped us to uh, to live together. Yeah, at times we have some challenges, maybe we have misunderstanding. But one rule is none of our children will say, I had when daddy and mommy were shouting at themselves. And that is a key for me. If there's any issue, we inside enter our room and then we sort it out. We sort it out. In the area of finances, we actually don't have problem with finances because from the beginning he told me that we are going to have one course. Mm. And then when we married, I was the one working. He wasn't. He was. Still, he just finished his PhD then, and then he told me just put the money, uh, put the money when you collect your salary, just keep it. Remove the tithes, buy things, whatever is remaining, we keep in the house and be using. And I did that. Do you know that when he started working till now? Yes, we had to open separate accounts for you know uh, ease of you know uh, spending money at times. But mm. till today, we don't actually have problem problem with uh, uh, finances. 
there's an area which we actually had problems because I have to share it for others to hear. It's the initial area of sex. You know, as a man, you will want sex. It took me time to understand how men were, you know, were uh, framed. It took me time. I had, there was a time I had to read uh, my small book, and then also in the in the conclave, Coach uh, Coach um, Ologe really really stressed about it, and God has really helped us. Mm. God has helped us to understand because for me, I would say, I, at times I get so tired because of the kind of work I did. But when your hogar say he wants to do, now you are tired. You know, we have to understand this. And Coach Wendy, we don't have that challenge again. Mm, amazing. We don't have it. I can say it. I can say amazing. it over and over again. We don't have it again. It's knowledge. Yes. Knowledge. We don't have it again. Amazing. Amazing. This has been a, a redefining moment. And this is a couple that have been married for, you know, so long. Remember, uh, Madame Philippe said, said to me, we've been married for like 20 something years. This couple okay, 24. 24. <laughs> Will it be yeah. can we will it be better? I said join ma, it will be beneficial. <laughs> and I'm happy today for her to you know to hear that a very you know um, struggling part of their journey has been sorted out. Thank you so much for sharing that heartily. I'm sure a lot of people will catch a revelation from this last part. <laughs> and it's about you know how long, all right? It is about you know what it is the knowledge is doing um um coach Omolola is in the comment section shouting <laughs> bed of fire. she now she understands what it is in conclave there's a place <laughs> called bed of fire Every <laughs> conclave, right? you can't be there and not have bed of fire all right thank you so much for being here all right um this um a minute um uh, mr philomena okay is the founder and the proprietor of Life Foundation School. And she's been sharing with us, all right, with a lot. She's been sharing with us a lot of things that have happened on her journey and how she's been able to move from that parent who was just wishing, being intentional, and to parents who added knowledge to her intentionality. And yes. everything changed. The moment mm -hmm. she added knowledge to her intentionality, everything. So you can be intentional and without knowledge, that intentionality, you know, mm. it, it's, it's not really there. She said something that was striking. She said, it ends with me. Whatever it yes. is that is not done right, ends it with me. me. Ah, yes. This kind I am paying a price for the generation. I say yes. that parenting is war. How you fight is how you finish. Where you stop is where the next generation is going to start from. Mm. So whatever it is that is not ending with you will continue. Your children are going mm -hmm. to continue to struggle. I am particularly excited. There are too many things I've heard today that at some point I actually lost words because, mm. you know, Mrs. Simona was giving it to us back to back, left, right, and center. Are you that parent thinking, oh, my marriage is 20 something year old? Who is this small girl? What does she go? What is she going to do with me? Ms. Philomena said, wisdom is not by age. Mandates are not because Mandates are not by age. Oh. Ah. They are not giving to people because of age. Our mantles mm -hmm. are transferred by men to men. <laughs> they are not transferred by God to men. It is given to men in this generation, in this dispensation. Mantles mm -hmm. are given to men to transfer to men. I was listening mm -hmm. to Daddy Jew where he was talking about how he, he got connected, you know, to um, a, a man of God, you know, where he went to the, the U.S. And, you know, people were saying, oh, I want you to sell your, but I want to do this. He said, I want the, the what makes you hegging? I want it. Mm -hmm. Whatever ah. makes hegging, hegging. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want it because I know it will not come from God. It will come mm -hmm. from you. Hegin. I want ah. it. The mantle that hegging has been given. I want it. He said the man stood there and prayed for him for like how many hours, and the rest is history. When you see powerful men, they have mantles. Mm. Yes. <laughs> they have mantles. And there are mm -hmm. mantles transfer. Mm -hmm. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. This is Philomena Ogoke. I am particularly, particularly excited having you on this stream today. We are looking for a school, you know, where I can mm -hmm. testify. I don't know my daughter mm -hmm. is in that school. My daughter is my responsibility. She's my child. <laughs> so <laughs> if there, then of course you trust me that that is the school that your child needs to be in. And mm -hmm. I want to say a step by greetings to Prof. I've seen you. You know, people who are, you know, intellectually, you know, put together. Yeah, they are, they are looking for knowledge. They are, they are fighting. Why, why would they have this kind of result? 
I also want to, you know, say thank you for sharing all of your struggles and all of your results. I am, mm -hmm. I, I, I connect with struggles a lot because I know mm -hmm. that I'm not coming from a place of perfection. I am coming yes. from a place of struggles as well. And struggles yes. that have, been, you know, um, transformed using the knowledge on this journey. And that's exactly what uh, Madam Philomena has shared this morning. And I'm going to, you know, leave it open my what would be your final words in this conversation? Those people who are listening to you and saying, my children are too old. What would this small girl that just had to just mm -hmm. teach me? You know, those people that are saying, okay, I know, I believe, oh, but with what they <laughs> teach you to the children, how, what would be your advice to them? Over to you, ma'am. Um, we, we are to make choices in life. Mm. And it is a choice you make now that will determine your tomorrow. I know my children are not perfect, but there is this peace we have. We don't run mm. about our mm. children. I can tell where they are now. At least some of I can mention that by this time, this is where he or she should be doing. Mm. I get it. So I want to encourage us. The category of uh, yadas that feels overwhelmed, or when they hear somebody's uh, story, say, ah, I have not done so much because I know some people I have talked to these days. Ah, should I join? Should I, should I come out? I say, come out and go to where? Stay there. If you have to repeat that class 10 times, repeat it. Even if you don't hear everything, that one, you can hear one, eh? You will run with it. Mm. I want to encourage the others. Please, don't give up. I don't know the point you are in your journey. Don't give up. Don't be oh, carried away by other people's testimonies. Yes, you can tap into it, but yes. be on your lane. Just mm. be intentional. It's not perfectionism. No, it's be intentional. Just look at your family. Look at what the problem is and what you want. Focus on it. This year, I know how many goals I've, I've, I've just, in fact, God has done it. Mm. To the complaint, God has done it. Mm. So if I don't take a step, if you don't take a step, you won't get the result. And one thing about this parenting is if you start and do and then you go back, the children will go, they will, they will be worse than when you started initially. So mm. just do your best. Do your best. Don't do, do don't compare yourself with any other person. And for those yeah. who are intending, are intending and say, ah, should I join? Should I not join? Go and say your week, as coach will say. Mm. Sell that gold if you don't have money. Sell it. Sell it. And be in the t uh, the intentional parenting academy. You can't re you can't regret it. You cannot regret it. I encourage everybody, coach. Mm. God will continue to be with you. Amen. Your life will not be cut short. Amen, man. First Corinthians chapter two, uh, verse nine, is what the spirit of God dropped in my heart for you. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him. God loves you so much. He has given you the mandate. And that humility with which you carry it, that mantle, continue. And God will continue to fight your battles in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You have just listened to Mrs. Philomena Ogoke. Mrs. Philomena Ogoke and her husband are one of the people that I respect so much. Their quest for knowledge gives me this, 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 this hype, this high. Throughout this session, there were a lot of moments for me, I don't know about you. There were moments where I shed tears. There were moments where I spoke in tongues in my heart, like I needed to jump out of my skin. And like, <laughs> what is saying? There are too many things that she has said in this space that Trust me, he was given. If you are connected, you understand what I mean. Thank you so much, Ma. I honor you. I love you. Thank you so much for coming to this session. I don't take your time for granted. I do not take your humility for granted. I am so honored. I, I, am, I am so, so honored. I, I, I have seen a lot of the things that you have done. I have seen your journey. And so many times I, I act, I, you know, I, I say to God, <laughs> the, the, my, my greatest testimony is the inner circle program. My greatest testimony on my work with God. Because I understand what it is that he's done. God has sent men. Men. You know, mm -hmm. men that have 
transformed my thinking. Men that have shown me what this mandate is about. Men that have, you know, given it the true meaning. And I want to say today that you are part of the people that have given it a true meaning to what it is that we are called to do. Thank you so much for all that you do. And, um, and, and, and see you in the yard. My love to Prof. And, Thank you um, so much. <laughs> Prof. Hug and kisses to that young man. That young man that you have to send hug and kisses. And that's why we said that we will not thank <laughs> anybody that don't please thou me. We will <laughs> marry right. Yes, so our tribal. We will not finish raising kings. And we will <laughs> it. it will not happen. It's it not good. pride. It's self-preservation. We want to preserve <laughs> our head in this situation. Yes, we want, to preserve, <laughs> we want <laughs> to preserve our head. You know, this morning I was sharing with the master peace woman and I said, when when Dinah went to the place in the Kenyan women, mm -hmm. she went there, the Lord said not to be with them. She went there, Aye. she lost her head. You will not Aye. lose your head because Amen. you do not know where to go. <laughs> the mandate Amen. of preparation is real. Thank Amen. you so much Ma, for sharing <laughs> your journey. I am Thank intrigued. You. We're going to let you go now. Thank you Thank and you send so. my love okay. to everybody in the house. Thank and my you. love to your daughter. Tell her that yeah. we see her, we hear her, and we're going to be Amen. excited. We're waiting Amen. for her to be out of the world. Amen. Tell her that we are proud of her. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you. God and bless you. A school, you know, where <laughs> the life of the true school is your plug. Trust me, yeah. you want to be there. All righty. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've just listened to Mrs. Philomena Ogoke. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Who else spoke in tongues when they listened to this woman? I did. Who else was, 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 I, I don't even know how I felt at some point, right? And this is, she, 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 she just leave the curriculum that can be tapped into. She just, she just stayed on, lived on. So why are you giving excuse? Are you sure? My children are old. Can I, can I? Yesterday, a lot of us have all of those, you know, all of those, you know, um, um, places where we are. Yesterday, somebody sent me a long note speaking Igbo to me. It was so exciting and funny at the same time. And her last child is 15. And she said, coach, I love everything. I want to be part of it. But I'm afraid. Will I be able to cope? Will I be able to, you know, will I still learn? Is it not too late? It's not too late. It is not too late. There's a lot that people have done. Miss Philomena shared with us how a marriage challenge she had, which was sex, was just dispelled by by knowledge in fact that was that was a, a hit point for me uh you know if you're if you're married if you are struggling in any area the differentiating factor is knowledge yesterday my pastor was preaching and he said anything you're struggling with is because you don't have enough knowledge you don't have enough light enough light in that area forget how long you have done it forget who you are <laughs> forget who you are if you have light it changes everything. And light is a differentiating factor. And you know, light, that is what will make kings come to your brightness. It is light. So how much light do you have in that area of your life that you're struggling with? All right? You can pray, which is beautiful, but pray to God for light. Pray to God for connecting knowledge. If you have not registered for the inner circle yet, you're waiting for, you know, us to announce it. The details are on the screen. It doesn't matter how much you, you know, um, put all of that. Somebody's asking, can a busy mom cope with the program? Mrs. Philomena Goke runs a school. There, in fact, I, I dare say that the people in the inner circle are the busiest people that I know. All right? And today, Mrs. Philomena Goke has called me Noah. I'm not going to hear the last of it in the inner circle. I'm going to now start hearing Noah in the inner circle. You guys, mind yourself. Thank you so much for the journey. Thank you so much for joining us, all right? And intentional parenting is about the curriculum that you leave. Your children need curriculums to survive, to become, but you need to become the curriculum yourself. And if you're looking for our books, you know where. Ms. Philomena Goke is also a distributor of our books. You can get our books from her. Today also, we're doing a pre-order launch um, for my new books. Three, four of them, right? Raising the Emotionally Skilled Child, Parenting and um, discipline is not an emergency. Solving family problems through effective communication. That book. Hmm. And then Sex Educate Your Child Like a Pro, Volume 3. All of these books are for you. <laughs> Whether you have your child at zero, at one, 
you read them, they, they tangibly change your life. And these books are going to, we put a pre-order cell, um, flash sale, because we're not, we're not going to be able to just give you and just say, just pay below the price for such a long time. Print cost is a lot, all right? But we want you to be able to get this book. Okay, an opportunity to get that those books. Key into it, at 12 o'clock, there will be an announcement for the flash sale. It means that you pre-order at a cheaper, way cheaper. You're saving like 12K or so, all right? Actually, if you're pre-ordering the four books at, at the go, you pay 14,000 Naira instead of paying, I think, 26 or so. And these books will change your life. I have a mandate to write transformational books. I know. I'm not asking you. I am telling you that I have a mandate to change the life of parents through the books that I write. And I have seen it happen over and again. All right? People still testify about the books that I have, you know, written. They are so tangible, right? They are so tangible that you can catch them. You can catch the things that are in the books. They are not, they are not theory. They are not, they are not things. Some things are taught. Some things are caught. The things that I write about are caught. There's something called prophetic scribbling, all right? It is there. It's, 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 it's a thing. And God has actually given some of us the ability to do that. So be ready for 12 o'clock. Get into that flash. So if you miss it, you pay full money for the book. Trust me, even at full money for the book, you are helping us because print cost is a lot. You, already, you are helping us. You are going to just be helping us. We almost didn't print hard copies this year. Because of the cost of dollar, every paper is brought in from wherever. So the paper is like this. And when they give us the cost, we're like, we will do it. We'll find a way to do it. So if you want to be part of it, all right, the flash sale, so yeah, you can get it at this reduced price, then you want to key in at 12 o'clock. It's going to last just for a few hours, all right? All our books come in both hard copies and in soft copies. Because we have a mandate for hard copies, actually, that's why we don't just do only soft copies. So we actually do hard copy books, all right? It's going to be available on Amazon, but of course, pre-order will not be available on Amazon. It's not a system that we control, all right? You can do pre-order for Kindle, but you cannot do pre-order for hardcover. You need to buy. So if you're going to buy from Amazon, all right, then of course, you can still enjoy the flash sale benefits when it's out on Amazon. Then you let, you let us know that you were able to actually, you know, get the book in that period. You can indicate, indicate interest so that the team can take note. You're going to get a, a workbook, an ebook, right? But the workbook of raising an emotionally skilled child. An emotionally skilled child. And then you are, you're going to get the, the course. This course is an exclusive course. We don't launch it, right? The course, working your child through puberty. There's a full course on it, right? Working your child through puberty. Working your child through puberty came out as a cost, as a cost first before it became a book. And in that course, there's a lot you're going to learn. It's one of those VIP, we call it the, 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 the TIP VIP courses. You're going to have access to it for being part of the flash sale today. But after today, you are not going to have access to it. And it's only for people who are able to order the four books at a go. All right? You have access to all of these specs. And you also have access to you know, some of the things that the, the team has also put together. If you're out, the process of getting your books and all of that is in the wait list, you know, details, all right? There's a wait list. You can join it and then you will be there. That's it about the books. We look forward to having you, you know, at the pre-order flight sale by 12 noon today. Look out for it. Wait for it. Stop asking us for account number. It's never going to be out there until 12 noon, all right? Set your alarm so that you can be part of it, right? And then remember that registration goes full-blown at by tomorrow. 1st of November, right, and um, and um, uh, uh, next tomorrow. So we're, you know, doing registration. We're tidying up a lot of the front because once it's 1st of December, the inner circle registration shuts down for the year. Shuts down completely. Whether you're an old yada, you're a new yada, it shuts down completely. And this year, we mean it. It shuts down completely. So if you have that friend, that neighbor, that whoever that you want to be in the inner circle, this is the time. You have the next 30 days to make it happen. Because on the 1st of December, we shut it down. We, we continue with this cohort. And you, let, you wait for the next cohort. The next cohort is going to start on the 1st of December, 2024, against 2025. 
the TIP calendar ends 30th of November every year. All right. So at the moment that ends, we start the new year. Our new year is on the 1st of December. So if you miss that mark, you wait for the next one year. Not because we don't want to collect your money. And we have a lot of things to do with money, right? Staff and all of that. But we do not want you to miss the mark just because we collected your money. The transformational journey needs to be complete. All right. When you look at the screen, you check, you see how to book. The inner circle program is a hundred thousand naira per year. It was one of the others who did the math. It is less than two hundred and fifty something naira per day, less than the coke money you drink. So all this, oh, I don't know how to. I don't have money. Collapse your coke money. You see that you have money for the inner circle, and that's it. Some of us drink coke as unhealthy as it is. We drink coke every day, all right? Sell your wig and buy wings for your children, like Ochebuka will say. Don't give the excuses because there is no time that is waiting. And like Mrs. Philomena said this morning, the Intentional Parent Academy is an end-time agenda. It takes a lot for you to be able to say it. So provided you are looking at me and saying this coach Wendy, who the hell is she? <laughs> what is she saying? Then you miss the mark when you do that. Because it's not about me, it's about a mandate that has been given to a generation to transform a generation. I look forward particularly to being your coach. It will be my delight to have a piece of me in your home, to have a piece of me on your journey. So much of a delight for me. And I look forward to you sharing your testimonies as well. See you again tomorrow at 8 a.m. where we come back to my intentional parenting journey, where you'll be sharing, where another Yada Rosemary Ali will be sharing with us on her journey on the things that she has done. Again, whatever problems that you are having, it is because you do not have enough light in that area. Go for light. Go for light. Knowledge changes everything. Thank you so much for being here and do have an amazing day.